One of the most uh, controversial aspects of the book mm. was the time when James acted violently <coughs> towards you, Bev. And mm. I'm just wondering, upon reflection, just revealing that, what was the motivation in, uh, in you know, talking about that? It's interesting, Jacqueline, because I mean, when, when we wrote the book, um, I wrote all my section, James hadn't seen it, he wrote his section, I hadn't seen it. We, we didn't, didn't want to censor each we other. We didn't want mm -hmm. to censor what the other one was going to write and we didn't want to edit each other and we read it at the proof stage, it was almost going to print and I said to James, if you want to change anything, you can. I'm not, you know, it's completely up to you. If you want to change it, I'll be totally happy with that. And that was the incident that I had in mind. I thought he's not really going to, you know, that's, it's a big man that can have that out in the public domain to be judged in that way. Um, and you found it really hard and really upsetting to read, but he can barely remember that time. And really, th what, what I, I wanted... Remember the, I can't remember the, the event Bev described at all. I can remember a little bit of Bev's sister coming around afterwards, mm. but, you know... I, and it, I mean, for anybody who hasn't read the, the serialisation, basically, the, you know, James is let out of hospital from London to come home, still really badly injured, and actually, what the story illustrates is how badly we look after people in this country who have brain injury. That's kind of the whole point of the anecdote, in that we don't support families with brain injured members. Um, you know, there is nowhere for them to go. They are sent home a different person. And that was absolutely in the acute stage after, you know, it's two, less than two months after and the accident. So this is two years ago now, th this incident. Um, I say people, many people have met, you don't meet many people with a brain injury, and, and Headway, the Brain Injury Association, who I work really closely with, and you know, I'm, I'm the vice president of the, of the association. It it helps link people together, and and, mm. and for them and their family to understand mm. what they've gone through, and to meet other people who've gone through the same thing. And mm -hmm. and Bev's right; it it was very difficult. You know, Bev's not a neurologist. No, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm not a neurologist. You're right. You think but, you are? <laughs> well, then how do you get the trust back in your relationship when something like that happens? Because I ha because I knew that it was not James and that's you know the the denouement of that particular anecdote is that my si I rang my sister and James got angry with me and I was angry with him and it was just a horrible we're in a kind of cauldron of stress and anxiety and I was pregnant and um, and I rang my sister I kind of got away from him I rang my sister in the bathroom and just said you've got to come around and she just ran barefoot around the corner she was, and just came in and came through the door and just took James in her arms and just hugged him and just said, it's not you, James, it's not you, it's okay, it's not you, it's not you. Um, you know, and it was, it, she was, it was beautiful, because it wasn't James. Mm -hmm. And that was what, and that's what I know, and that's how I can reconcile those sorts of difficult times, because it isn't James, and it wasn't. I mean, you know, like I say, that was, that incident was two years ago. I think it's important to point that out. <laughs> but we can't, we couldn't not, you know, we can't not tell those stories, because we owe it to people. I get letters and emails every day from wives of brain injured men who are either in intensive care and they want advice, what do I do, where do I go, does he need a neurologist, does he need a neuro rehab doctor, does he need a psycho, you know, it's a, it's a minefield mm. to look after a loved one who's had a brain injury. So anything that we can do to help, that's, that was, that's why we've written the book, mm -hmm. bottom line.